this wine. It just, it, it tastes so good. Mom, I know you watch all these videos and I'm sorry that this is happening. Uh, welcome back. Another episode of Comedians in Bars Getting Blind. You'd be familiar with Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, wouldn't you? Evan Damore, Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Evan's actually a comedian despite appearances. Why would you make up drop bears when you have a bird trying to kill Bill the eyeball out of your skull? And you guys don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck at all. This guy opened his legs further when he heard Magpie. He's very funny. I met him the other night sitting in the front row of a showcase that he was hosting at the Belgian Beer Cafe here in Adelaide. Uh, I was obnoxiously laughing. He does a lot of crowd work, so we got along like a house on fire. And now he's not saying anything when I've invited him on a YouTube show, so this is a really good start. I thought you were doing the intro, dude! I this was waiting for a moment! What we're doing here today is we're tasting three different sparkling wines, and we have one of them which is $5 a bottle, which is just your bang- up oh, early call and I like that from you. Which is just your bang average, like, uh, no vi no vineyard, no name, no one wants to claim it. It's the rescue child of, rescue dog, actually, you don't rescue children, you adopt them. Uh, the rescue dog of the uh, champagne world. Then we've got, like, a sparkling wine that's about $30 a bottle, and then we've actually got champagne from France. You would know that because your last name sounds French. Yeah, man, it sounds French because it's French. Yeah, there we go. And it's Québécois. Nous connaît. Comment boire? Again, it's mainly Australians watching yeah, this. Yeah, man, man I said I know how to drink. Cool. You know? And I know how to drink sparkling wine because, you know, I got a little sparkle in me. It does have anyway, a sparkle. so I'm going, this one's the shit one, this one's the half good one, and that one, mwah, I can look at, look how, oh, that looks so sexy. It's got a very fine bead on it. I, Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. uh, some say pearly. Would you like to taste them or do you just want to reveal now based on your views? Oh, no, no, no. Let's give a little. Let's taste them. Where do you want to go first? I kind of want to start with what I think is the best one, just because I don't want it ruined by ugh. whatever drivel is down the bubble man. Now on this show, the host always pours himself first because he has no manners, and then you go second. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's me first. Uh, I see you know your judo well. Radio, what mm. are you thinking? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that, see, the thing that I often find with white wine is the less it smells, the better it's going to taste. Because that is very clean on the nose. I've accidentally snorted something. Wait, did you snort the champagne? <laughs> I'm, used, champagne. I'm used to drinking out of glasses that are way bigger than this. <laughs> okay, oh, like, wait, no, that's French. Yeah, this is for sure French. <laughs> it's like, oh man, it's so good, I'm just going to fucking rail it. That's not bad. It's so clean. It's so clean. If this is the, if this is the shit one, this is the glory of this show because you sometimes that happens and you're like, what have I been doing spending money on wine? Also, spend money on wine because spend that's what we're here for. You. Yeah. Spend money on wine and pay your, pay your content creators. No, we're here to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, right. So, what do you? What, so, what? What notes do you have off the vase? It's clean. Yeah, uh, it's clean. It's it's very fresh. It's the very clear. Fresh. It's absolutely dripping. Mm. Mm? That's not an actually good tasting tasting though. You put it in your mouth and like, it, like my whole tongue feels like it's bubbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, that is like, a good note. Yeah, yeah because like it, it, it's not like a couple bubbles here and there. It's like it's like the coronavirus of bubbles. Like it, it's, it's everywhere. It's Omicron. It's like it, it caught on fast. It's just gone everywhere. Yeah, it wasn't Delta. It wasn't like it was easily transmissible. Transmissible. I'm not good at words. All right. So yeah. off the bat. Are you thinking, mm. like, obviously mm. it's hard to say what's cheap, what's expensive when you're tasting the first one, but you instantly, do you have a lean on it? Well, look, I went on look to start off with, right? Let me explain what I'm going with. Let's go. This one's got the, the small bubbles and they're fine and it looks really clear. So yeah. I think it's like extra distilled. It looks like it's traveled a lot, right? Oh, that is it looks very, light. look at that. That's oh, beautiful. It's, it's stunning. I mean, we are doing a bit of a disservice to this one because you can't see it. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is though, this one looks like it's got big bubbles. And the bubbles are, like this is still bubbling like a lot. So you like thin bubs and you cannot lie. I love thin bubs and I cannot lie. <laughs> you other brothers might deny. You did say that you were a country western rapper. Are you just gonna spit some stuff right now? Man. <laughs> I should have poured it in glasses. No, it's okay, man. I'm gonna pour mine into a glass because I was raised not in a barn, but you can do whatever you want. 
says the man who snorted the last one. I'd like to miss you, miss you. Did you snort the champagne? <laughs> By accident. <laughs> okay, I'm not raising the barn proof there in the pudding. Shit, I mean, this one's nice. It means that that's going to be terrible. Or if that's nice as well, then we've made good consumer advice on this show for once, which is a treat for everyone involved. Oh, fuck. Hold up. Did you get in the that sound? That smells great. Okay, hold up. That's oh. tight. Yo, can this just... Can we stop reviewing things and just make an... A well, like can we just make an ASMR channel? God. I just want to make sure everybody knows that this wine, it just... It, so good. Mom, I know you watch all these videos and I'm sorry that this is happening. Yo, I bet you we get way more fucking views. Like, how many views do you guys get? Uh, not heaps. So Six. We go ASMR, yeah. we fucking put it behind a paywall. I'm saying we gonna make some money. Only fans. Two fucking white guys just fucking pouring bubbles on each other? Yeah. God damn. You know what the world doesn't have enough of? White men giving their opinions on camera. I think yeah, this exactly. Is a, this is a Cut breakout market. opinions market. and we'll just... What do you think of this wine? Yo, honestly? Kind of nice. It's got a bit more flavor than the first one. Mm. Um, Do you think it, I get a little bit of an artificial flavor from it. Like it's been sort of at, whereas that was just like clean, crisp. Mm. This is a little bit like, I see what you're doing. I don't mind what you're doing, but I can see what you're doing. Whereas that, it sneaks up on you and you're like, whoa. Yeah, that tasted clean. That was like a, like a sneak attack. Like if this was like a, like a military regime, I'm saying it's going in. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the latest video that we've shot tonight. Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so we haven't got any notes for this one yet. We think it's like oh, yeah. we think it's like a well-dressed military. Okay, no, 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 no. That was that one. Oh, that's this one. So yeah. this is a gorilla. I, I gotta listen to this one later. Yeah. But this one seems fake. Maybe military is not the thing, right? Like, like if this was Eminem, this is like Machine Gun Kelly. I like that comparison. I like that comparison a lot. Because yeah. like this does feel like it's really trying to force down your throat how good it is, whereas this one just happens to be really good and everyone yeah, like, likes it. Mac Miller over here, we fucking mm, like it. Like mm. hopefully, hopefully, I don't want this to be like fucking Rebecca Black. I think that. Well, look, these are both good, so that means that that should be like Rebecca Black. Or like we'll find out. What was the other one like Bad Barbie or something? That chick who just got like super famous for no Yo. good reason. You mean the Catch Me Outside girl? She mm. had a reason. She had a reason. No, yeah, not a musical one. No, but you, you want to know how much money she made in OnlyFans? I, no, I genuinely don't because it'll upset me because I'm making bugger all and this is better content. Hundred dollars. No, decimal points. What are we doing here? 20 minutes later. All right, wine well, number three, let's get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, let's finish these ones off. Oh yeah, man. I told you the sounds. So get that in there. Oh, this is some fine china up in this. I got this from an op shop two days ago for a dollar a piece. This is fine china. Yo, I bet you you could flip it online, make more money than this podcast will make you. What about that dude? You know that dude online? I don't know what his name is, but he's always like, no, 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 you people don't understand. If you want to make money, there's money to be made out there. What you need to do, go to garage sales. Start buying little silver spoons. Little silver spoons go for 50 cents a garage sale. You can flip those to $3 on Amazon. You buy 10,000 little silver spoons, all of a sudden, you're making 300% profit on them. Sucks. Gary V. Yeah, fuck you, Yo, Gary V. Thank you, Gary V. You're helping a lot of people out there. There's a lot of lazy people. They need somebody to look up to. Thank you. Okay. You don't, you don't think that, you don't like people who motivate other people? I don't like the way that he speaks. I find him very upsetting to listen to. Yeah, because he's American, and for you, that's like fucking. Aah! You guys like the British. That's you don't you know what the British sound to like for us in North America? What do they sound like? Okay, maybe I shouldn't say this out loud because I live in England. <laughs> Hold up, though. It didn't bubble as well. I noticed that straight off the bat. It's not even worth getting the mic up to it. No. So do you want to taste it, or do you not put cheap things in your mouth? I know for a fact that that's not the case. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. <laughs> My goodness. Steal some. <laughs> Yo, we traded so many bubbles, man. Of course there was some oxygen caught. Is that not respect in this country? If I burp into the champagne, is that if, not? If you can look me in the eye right now and say that that was the most discreet way you could have burped into a microphone that's on your shirt. I'll shake your hand. That's cheap. <coughs> That's cheap.
If this is from France, this is why everyone thinks French people are rude. Like, that can't be the expensive one. Yo, that hurt me. Yeah, no. Okay, but what is it's it? got to be the cheap one, doesn't okay, it? Okay, but do you, do you know the difference between these bottles? you know which one's which? I don't know which. I bought them. No, no, no. Okay, so, so you, okay, so Lucky, you helped out by, like, putting... He, he poured them. I don't know which is in which. Yeah, but you, you know what they are? Because, like, I want to know the name of... Not, not this one, whatever the bad one is. <laughs> uh... I just want to shit on it already. Oh, the, I, the funny thing is going to be when it's not the cheap one because that's happened a bunch of times already. But like to me, that's just in no way is that anywhere near as good as either of these bottles. So I'm really hoping because champagne is one of those things that is banana sort of banana like, skins. Hello, I taste, Mr. Tasting Notes. All of a sudden, I taste banana skins. I taste, I taste a used band aid with. What part of the body was it used on? Knee. But scab connected to the band aid. That's immaculate. Like, that is immaculate tasting. Okay. Like, sweaty toes, but like okay. dripped with lime. We only met each other a couple of days ago, but I'm like terrified of feet. So, we literally can't go down this path or I'll throw up. This what do you mean? Oh, dude, no, we're not doing this. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're not doing it. No, 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 take it off my bar. Take that off my bar right now. No, 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 no. Evan, 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 I don't like feet. What, what's wrong with feet? I do not have so wait, time. Hold up. No. Hold up. No. So, so if I dipped my toe. Turn the camera up. No, no, Evan, don't. So, but if I, if I dip my toe in the wine and then I, then I. <coughs> Is this actually that bad? Are you done? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, kill. <laughs> that's going in there, yeah, you're no, a garbage boy. Okay, so we're in agreement that that's the cheap one. So. I'm even going to do this a little bit. Oh, dude, cleanse your palate. No, 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 no. I'm gonna clean the glass and get it out there. All right, so water is cheap. So the only thing that you need to resolve is which of these two is the most expensive. This has got to be the expensive one because the length, the length of that sound. All right, I'll, hold, I'll hold this here, you pour. What do you think? Which of these is more expensive? Oh, buddy, come on! Like it's obvious. So, vase is the most it's, expensive. It's, it's, like, like honestly, I want to get paid with the rest of this one. You think you're getting paid? You should know, sir. This is cheap. Get this out of here, Mal cheap. Malaka. Is that the middle for you? Yeah, it was in the middle, and it is the middle. And this is the most expensive. And if it's not, buy that it, shit. If it, if this is not, buy it, buy it. And also, I'm gonna drink it regardless. Yeah, all right. Let's go this way. Let's have Lockie reveal to us if this Lockie, one first. Lockie, God damn it. If you tell me this is the most expensive one, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna throw it at you. One number. So we're doing the cheap one here in the water vase. Lockie, what was that? It's gotta be the cheap one. This. $105 a bottle. $105 a bottle. That's the most expensive one. This is from France. This is proper champagne. This is... I put my toe in a $105 bottle of champagne? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Dude, expensive no, doesn't no, 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 mean no, no, good. No, 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 no. What I think must have happened is this is toothpaste and this is orange juice. Okay, I think you're just being really polite to that winemaker, to be honest with you. There's no way a $105 bottle tastes that bad. I d so this happens a lot with wine, I think, where people are like, this is expensive, therefore it will taste good. Then they taste it and they're like, mm. All right, nobody go to Mont Chirac. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I think that's where my grandmother's from. Oh no, it isn't, is it? No, no, we're all Canadian. What's your grandmother's name? This is blown up. We're so we were playing for the chance for you to wear the King of Champagne hat, but obviously we don't know sparkling from soda streaming. So that's very funny. What that means is one of these is $5 a bottle. Fuck. Right? That's Welcome to my wine drinking tasting show. So my wine drinking tasting show, I'm saying that this one is going to be the, the second best one and this one's going to be $5, right? $5, honestly, is still better than $105 wine. So what we're going to do, Lockie, can you please bring us the next bottle? We're going to take a guess here. So this one is the second best bottle of wine. This is a, a Chancellor & Co, the fine wine merchant's Brut Cuvée. So it's what, a non-vintage from Australia. That's the cheapest bottle. So this is the cheapest bottle. Yeah. Is it $5? This belongs to? Yeah, here. Yeah, nailed yeah, it. Absolutely. Fucking nailed it. You called did. it. Boom. Get out of here, you schlumper. The middle bottle is delicious. The middle bottle is delicious. Is so it? I don't keep drinking the expensive one. So the middle bottle is delicious. What is this, Lockie? Yo, 
This is $32? 32 bucks, man. From Adelaide Hills? Nice. Is this like the best Adelaide has to offer? Like, and you have to make it cheap just because you have to like sell it outside of Australia? Uh, no. Uh, Chiron Wines. <laughs> In a word. No. Chiron Wines, really cool wine maker from the Adelaide Hills. If, yeah. If, um, usually we shoot this, so we've got other episodes where it's like, uh, I'm the idiot and then there's two actual wine tasters. So usually what they would do is they'd go like, Chiron Wines, oh, honestly, shout out to Alan and Becky. You guys do it right up there. You come, you're come, you some of the nicest people I know in wine. These guys just do it the right way, make these wines an incredibly sensible. Chiron Wines, honestly, Becky and Alan, you guys really, you do a good job up there. Oh my God, with your grapes. Oh, the last time I was up there and we were, remember when we were there? Remember when we were having some of their grapes? No, because I drank three bottles of that. Okay. Because it's so delicious. Well, no, that is. He doesn't remember, but I do. I, I didn't have that many. I still have to drive that night. Oops, don't <laughs> blow the whistle. All right, what are the conclusions from the episode? So the conclusions are. You don't have to do my voice. <laughs> <laughs> the conclusions of the wine tasting. That's not a champagne. This is a bloody champagne. That's, these aren't bloody bubbles. These are bloody bubbles. I'm saying. Thanks for coming on the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's been such a treat, honestly, oh, no, so yeah. much fun. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Is there anything you'd like to plug coming up? <laughs> I'm going to Melbourne Comedy Festival. Come see my show, it's called Come See. I'm also uh, putting on a Canadian showcase show. Uh, if you want to see more Canadians, I promise they're not all as weird and silly and stupid as me. Anyway, thank you for coming to my wine show. <laughs> I just wanted to say uh, shout out to all the wine drinkers out there. If you're drinking champagne, if you're drinking no pain. All I'm saying is real pain from my sham friends, champagne from my real friends. Mwah. All the best. See you next week. <laughs>